Vishal, thank you for joining us on the bottom line on Bloomberg Queen. To begin with, uh, you brought down your guidance today. Do you have enough visibility with respect to uh, the year ahead? Yes, absolutely. The, I think based on the visibility that we have right now, we have given this uh, uh, this guidance. Uh, our revenue growth in Q1 was not uh, quite up to my expectation. And uh, based on that, and that uh, surprisingly has happened in areas that are neither our core areas nor our new areas. So in the main part of the business that we have been focusing on, um, actually we have been doing quite well. So in, in consulting and in, in some of Pinnacle India, these, uh, we had uh, certain slowdowns. So I would not, uh, I am not so worried about it. But nonetheless, being that our year gets impacted by the performance in the first quarter more, uh, based on the visibility that we have right now, we have lowered uh, the guidance. Uh, one by the way, I have to say this is a very cool uh, selfie is, stick. It is. First, this is the selfie <laughs> interview we do normally at Bloomberg. <laughs> oh, I see. So, uh, so uh, my second question is, you know, about, about the pricing part of it. Uh, you've been very aggressive in the pricing in the industry. Uh, will you be, you know, moderating that aggressiveness because of the lowering of, lower, lowering of the guidance? Uh, no, we have not been aggressive in uh, pricing. Uh, I don't know where that perception comes from. Uh, we have been uh, gaining in large deals and in our uh, top accounts because of an emphasis on innovation and emphasis on design thinking and uh, initiatives like this. Uh, I think that this is a perception created by, by our competition and it is absolutely not the case. There is a general pricing pressure in the industry that is going on, uh, which is the commoditization of our services. I've been talking about this for the last two years. And that is inevitable, that is a, that is a more secular kind of a uh, movement that has happened where um, companies are under increasing cost pressure, there is opportunity for automation and so therefore companies want to be able to um, deliver services at lower costs. Mm -hmm. And the way to do that is not to drop costs but to deliver more innovation so that less people are required uh, in a project with more software, more automation and so forth. You spoke about automation last year, you replaced nearly 4,000 workforce. Uh, there was a target of replacing 12,000 this year, are you on No, on there wasn't such a target. Uh, in fact, over time, this target will kind of become meaningless because the MANA platform will pervade all the work that we do. But um, still, this was the very first quarter of MANA and we continue to use our automation in our existing services. We delivered 2,150 or so savings uh, within this quarter. So that number has also been increasing significantly. Mm -hmm. You spoke about Brexit, uh, that you don't have enough visibility of what impact it will have on on, your, on Indian companies. But uh, you know, if UK goes into recession, some of the clients of yours in the retail and banking space will have some challenges. Uh, are you gearing up for those challenges? Uh, it is too early to tell. Um, this is still, I mean, companies don't even know the impact of this yet. Uh, and uh, uh, so therefore we don't know the impact of this for now. And uh, my sense is that it is going to take a couple of years to, to, to unfold and uh, we'll, we'll watch it carefully and see how it goes. Uh, so far there has just been volatility in the market and volatility in the currency, but no, so, so far no meaningful change in the business environment. Finally, Vishal, uh, what are the headwinds you're seeing for this year uh, as you go into the uh, uh, into you know the complications of Brexit and a possible slowdown in UK? Uh, no, uh, no external headwinds that I see. The ones that we see are the areas that I mentioned that we need to focus on. Um, I mean, we had great growth in the top accounts. We also want to focus on the ones below them. Uh, we want to manage our, our further operational, operational efficiency and excellence levels uh, around on-site roles and uh, subcontractor spending, which also improved over the course of this quarter and things of this nature. There are certain areas of our business where we are focusing on, for example, our consulting services and package implementations which impacted Q1 and, and so forth. But this is all par for the course. The main engines of our strategy are executing, which is the renewal of our main delivery yeah. core services, uh, as well as the new services that we have been doing, which have been coming in at a very great scale. Vishal, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you. Thank you so much. Sir.